Hey guys, welcome back to Hypertura. I've got my super loot box here for July. Um, arrived yesterday, I only just managed to pick it up uh, this morning because it went to the, I missed it, it went to the post office, uh, but I have it now. Um, before I open this up, uh, as some of you know, if you watch my uh, Nerd Block RK Block unboxings, I've been getting lots of repeats uh, because Nerd Block seems to be having a lot of troubles at the moment. Um, so because of that, I'm going to do a little mini competition. Uh, so you can grab this Minecraft figure and this uh, keychain uh, here. All you have to do to get it is just go down to the description below and find the competition details. Um, there'll be a link to it and uh, just fill it in, put your details in. Uh, I think you can win extra entries by doing extra things. And then hopefully at some point, uh, by the end of August, I'll put the closing date as the uh, 31st, or I think it's the 30th of August actually, um, which will be down in the description as below as well. Um, I'll have a winner automatically generated for, from the competition software, um, so I won't be picking up the uh, competition site does, and uh, that winner will get these two items. But let's anyway, let's open up this uh, super loot box. I want to see what's inside. There's a about usual weight to this box. Um, doesn't feel any heavier or lighter than it normally does. So, okay, uh, I can't even tell what's in there from the uh, way that's all packed in. Uh, which is really interesting. I'm going to pull this out first. <laughs> Alright, so we've got a uh, Batman figure figurine uh, from Arkham Knight. And it looks like it's one of those... Um, this is bendable, so that makes me wonder if it's one of those uh, rubber figurines. Um, I will open it. Um, I know I don't normally open figures. But it's bendable, I want to see what it's like. A lot of things like this, yeah. It's not quite the style of plasticky rubbery thing I thought it would be. It's more plastic and obviously you've got the metal rods on the inside to position it. It's not as positionable as I thought it might be, uh, which is a bit weird. Uh, but that's a nice start uh, to the box. Uh, up next we have something, oh this makes it look like we've got a very large poster. Oh, I can see this is a Game of Thrones item. Oh, this is large. I ran out of room for large posters, I don't know what, oh, right. that's a shame, it's opened up, I tore it. So we've got um, a map of uh, Westeros and Essos uh, from Game of Thrones, and so that's a really nice uh, uh, poster there actually. Um, it's a bit of a shame that they folded it in there because the creases uh, get kind of ruin it to put it up on the ceiling and the creases when I unfolded it caused it to make that little tear which could probably be taped reasonably easily, um, but I don't know if I'd put it up with the creases in it. That kind of, um, for me, ruins the poster um, too much for me to want to display it on a wall. Um, how is this folded? There we go. Yeah, it was a, it's a nice poster. I don't think I'd want to hang it up when it's been folded down like this. To me, folding it like this ruins it, which is why posters normally ro rolled up into rolls because uh, you can normally flatten them out. That's folded like that's just creased it um, in a bad way. Um, so to me that kind of ruins the value of the poster. Um, up next we've got a Game of Thrones uh, coaster. Um, I think it's the oath for the uh, for the night uh, from the watch on the wall. It's not, I can't remember if it's the night watch or something. I think it's the night's watch. Yeah, the night's watch. So. Um, yeah, that's the open. That that's a really nice coaster, especially with Game of Thrones uh, being out airing at the moment. Um, we also have a button badge. It says Valor Morgulis. I I don't know what that's from uh, at all. There actually, if you know what it is, feel free to comment down below and let me know. I have no clue what that's supposed to be. Um, what we got? We've also got uh, an Avengers item from Age of Ultron. Uh, two inch figure inside. <laughs> so it, it looks a bit like Lego almost to me. Um, oh, it's so it's the Iron Legion. It's been so long s uh, since I've watched Avengers Age of Ultron, um, actually, which is a bit weird. But yeah, we've got a little figure there, which is. Uh, quite interesting. Um, the feet makes me think it could go into a Lego set 
which is pretty cool. There. And then finally, we have a t shirt um, of some sort. Uh, aha, so we have an X Men t shirt. Oh, looks, that's really nice, actually. Xavier Institute for Higher Learning. So that's really cool. I, I definitely, uh, I'm loving this actually. I love the X Men films. Um, so that's pretty cool. I'm loving the t shirt. And for one of the cheaper UK boxes, that's uh, quite nice quality as well, which you don't always get with some of the cheaper boxes. Um, yeah, so that's it for the box. Um, I'm not entirely sure how impressed I am with this box. The t-shirt and the figure seem to be the main thing. These are sort of cheaper things. Um, I suppose these official things still cost a fair amount, even though they're tiny. Um, but I think this box is almost up to £20 uh, for people to get nowadays, which is uh, a bit odd. And I think they've put a fair bit of value to this poster, which to me, with the folding, has just ruined it. Um, so I'm not entirely sure. I, I may have broken even maybe on the value of the box um, with the, the figures and stuff. But I, I wouldn't say I'm getting the value that they advertise from this one this month. This is a little bit more disappointing for me, I think, from what they usually send through. Yeah, and I, I don't know why they even bothered putting these in the boxes. They should have folded it like that and then realised it's actually just ruined the poster. Um, it would be very difficult for a poster that size to uncrease it and uh, roll it out onto your wall. Um, uh, yeah, I, I just don't know what to do with it. Um, but that's it for this video. Um, thanks for watching. Please hit the like button down below and the subscribe button down below if you want to see more unboxing videos. Otherwise, thanks, and I'll see you guys next time.